go. Streaming from South Africa to the world. To the world. This is the Stonks Go Moon podcast. What just happened? We break it down so you don't have to. Welcome everyone to the Stonks Go Moon podcast. My guest today, Chris Yen, CEO and co-founder of Plume. Welcome to the pod. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Dude, you Much guys fun. are on absolute fire. Um, just all over my feet going off. Uh, raised 10, <laughs> million, 10 million seed funding um, for something that I, I I thought we've been doing for a while, right? Tokenizing yeah, yeah. real world assets or called RWAs. So what yes. is your startup doing differently than what was already available? Totally, totally. A couple things. One okay. is that, again, thanks for having us today. You know, always excited to talk about Plume and, and uh, get to show the story. Look, really quick, you said the right thing, which is we've been doing this forever. This is not a new thing, right? I mean, even last hmm. cycle, we were tokenizing, you know, watches and houses and all this kind of shit, right? And like, it's been a thing. So it's not new, right? The, the difference, I think, this time is two things. One is the overall macro environment and the sort of situation in general. We're looking at things like the BTC ETF in America. We've got the ETH ETF that allows more sort of like institutional dollars to come in. And that's okay. sort of the catalyst for a bunch of new things, right? But that doesn't really matter. That's, that's for tomorrow. But that's one thing. I think the thing that is different is if you look at what happened last cycle and what people were doing before, the truth is, or let me ask this. Have you used any of those things? Have you ever bought a Patek on chain or bought a house? No. Things like chain? No. Exactly. Right. Nobody does that shit. Right. That's the problem with the things in the last cycle. Right. We were tokenizing things for the purpose of tokenizing them. Turns out we're doing things nobody fucking wanted. Right. Like nobody bought. Like if I'm going to buy a Patek, I'm buying a Patek. I'm going to wear this thing. I'm not going to just buy for the fun. You know, buy for that. If I'm if I'm going to buy a house, I'd like to buy a house to live in it. You know, like that's the point. Right. Like, you know, most people aren't buying houses to speculate on it. Right. Yeah, tokenize um, my child. So, Exactly, exactly, right? So like, th that's that's the primary difference between last time and this time. Last time we were doing things for the sake of doing them, right? This time we're doing them to be useful because I think there's a few lessons we learned from everything that happened last time, which is one, right? Not everything is ready to be tokenized. If you take a house, which is an illiquid asset in the real world, it's not like you can buy and sell a house that is in the real world, right? You put it on chain, you've made it even more illiquid, right? Like nobody wants to buy chain. So like, it's actually a horrible idea. It gets worse by putting it on chain, right? It doesn't get better, right? So it's theoretical shit, we can fractionalize. It doesn't get better. It gets worse, right? That's okay. the first point right okay. the second thing that that really matters though is like the thing that happens now is we are we've learned something from this all right we had a moment in time about a year and a half ago where the off where the off chain yields are better than the on chain yields for the first time right yeah. so when things were you know in the depths of the bear everything's gone to hell right we park in our stables and on main compound getting two percent hoping things will come back and hoping for the best right yeah, everything's yeah. fucked on the other side five percent treasury right that was interesting. And so everyone said, look, I want that on chain. So that sucked a bunch of stuff on chain. And that realized and taught us a couple of different things. The article has been here, right? It's just under a different name. It's called the stable coin, right? It's the best product in crypto today, right? It's mapped to a real world thing, right? The US dollar, it's on chain, but it's crypto. It's open, permission, it's usable. That is an example of, a of an on chain asset or a real world asset that works, it has demand. And the combination of those two things, how you do it, how do you put it on chain? How do you structure the UX? How do you build it? And then two, what types of things you put together that will create this environment. That's what we're focused on today. Right. So what are we what are we tokenizing today for the second run that will actually have value? Not houses. What what totally. yeah, what are we totally, tokenizing? Totally. So, so going back to that, right? Like starting okay. this, just to give you a frame, like and I'll, I'll talk yeah, about sure. what are we tokenizing? And I think okay. I think about more about what are use cases versus assets, but th those are the same things, right? If we think about what are we doing, right? The reason why, again, going back to stable coins, the reason why the stable coin works, right? Mm -hmm. um, even though it's the US dollar, is we're not taking the US dollar and putting it on chain. You're building the US dollar for an on-chain environment, right? Like it's that. open, it's permissionless, it's composable, right? It's crypto. I don't have mm -hmm. to think about the fact that it's just, I just know at some point this dollar summer, but I don't fucking know where it is. It doesn't really matter. I just know the I US can dollar, take it, right? Yeah, and but I also I can it. take it anywhere easily. I can take it to whatever I want 100%. and it's easy. Exactly. And yeah. that's the point, right? Like it's crypto. At the end of the day, if I buy any asset in crypto, I do whatever I want with that, put in any pool. It's like composable. I do what I got to do with it. Mm -hmm. Same thing with USDC or USDT. It was mm -hmm. composable and it was crypto from day one. That to me is the point. That's why it's different this time. And so the okay. question is, what is crypto? Like what, what does that mean? Right. Mm -hmm. And it's a couple different things, right? So the really, if you think about what are crypto use cases, there are three things that really matter in my opinion. Okay. One is, um, one is earning, yield, yield farming. 
right? That's one thing we all love to do, right? It's earning yeah. money on chain. Number two is trading. So spot stuff, right? Buy, trade, lend, borrow, just, you know, classic spot behavior. And third mm -hmm. is speculation. We, you know, we're doing perps, we're doing some things, we're doing all kinds of nonsense, right? Like yeah. all those things together, it's crypto, right? And, and sometimes, you know, bucket under the broader aspect of DeFi, right? But that's like yeah. what this is, right? So when I think about this, we are doing what we call RWA5, right? Which is how do we take these same use cases, but mm -hmm. flavor it with a little bit of RWAs, but it's still mostly crypto, right? It should look, okay. feel, and smell like crypto. It just happens to have a real thing. So for example, under the yield farming category, right? The things we are bringing on chain, what is suitable for you? What do you want to do? I want to park my money somewhere stable and earn money without thinking about it. Zero risk, zero lockups, it's liquid, it's open. That's what I want to do, right? That's zero what risk. every yield farm yeah. is, right? Yeah. And so the things that fit that state are what? Treasuries, as a simple example, right? But it's uh -huh. kind of boring, everyone's doing that. What else can we do? What, if I, we can do better than 5%, right? I mean, 5% yeah. is fun, but like, you know, I want to really get, we want to get into it, right? That's, I'm yeah. not here for 5%. So yeah. you can do things like, you know, oil fields or solar farms or um, other types of assets that are, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20% APY is paid out on a very regular basis. Plus you can stack other tokens on top, get you to 30, 40, 50% APYs, right? That's like the story, right? To me, that's like how you do it. I should be able to interact with the real world through a click of a button, buy something, get yield and just be able to do that, right? And then bounce if I want to, right? Maybe take out a loan against it and now go gamble. That's one example of like what we can do with yield farming. With trading, Right, it's a it's a second thing. Also, like what what's going on there, right? What is what has the secondary market already in the real world? How can you move things around? So maybe it's maybe it's equities, right? A simple example is access stuff, right? Maybe it's Pokemon cards, maybe it's sneakers, maybe it's things like that. Things. It's not about fractionalizing a Patek and then being able to trade like a fucking hundredth of a Patek. That's not what people do, right? But people do. People already trade Pokemon cards. They'll trade sports cards. People trade sneakers. People do those How do you enable that? <clears throat> Exactly, right? Yeah. And like, if I'm trading sneakers today, right, which is a huge market, I gotta wait for my sneakers to get here, I gotta sip mm -hmm. them, I gotta hold a bunch in my house, hopefully I don't get robbed while it's happening, and then yeah. I gotta go out and try and sell it again months later. The whole time, one, is the logistics is a pain in the ass, number two, I should be able to put it into a vault, earn some yield on it, maybe I take out a loan against it, do whatever I gotta do, right? Yeah. All those things combined are like what you should be able to do. So that's the second category of trading with real world assets. And third is speculation. I should be able to like really do a lot of crypto stuff with real world assets. For example, one of our protocols, um, you can take out a 50x lev long on the price of Pokemon cards, right? Okay. To me, that's a perfect example, right? Because that's still very crypto. We're talking about high leverage. We're talking about, you know, price action for these things. But it happens to be on um, Pokemon cards yeah. uh, instead of uh, instead of uh, some crypto native assets. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, 100%. I was about to ask you about, um, are you focusing more on institutional people or like retail? Where's the focus? Yep, good question. Uh, it's it's the answer is both, and it's never a satisfying okay. answer, right? So I'll give you the more yeah. the more pointed answer. I yeah. think these things change over time, right? It's okay. about what the audience today and where things are going today, right? If you look, I think we're we're very practical in that sense. Okay. If you look on chain today, right? Who's the audience? It's ninety nine percent DGENs and crypto retail, <laughs> and one percent trad institutions, and I think that's being yeah. pretty generous to the one percent, right? Yeah. Um, right? It's it's probably ninety nine point nine, right? So if that's the case, you got to build for the market today. Yeah. Right, so we're building for the more re the, the the retail user, the crypto, the the, the average crypto user, and over time that will change as more institutions come on chain, and we know them. Right, I talk to them all the time. It's happening; okay. they are moving, and as that changes, we will the products and the focus areas will change as long uh, change alongside yeah. with it. But for right now, we're focused on what is here today. Yeah. So I checked when I checked about a couple of weeks ago, there was eighty projects on your testnet. I got email this morning saying there's a hundred and fifty. How the hell are yeah. you get onboarding people that fast? Yeah, I mean, uh, one, it's, uh, you know, I would say one, our, our, it's a couple things always. One, you know, at this point, we have a little bit of a brand with a little bit of story. People kind of know who we are, so we're able to kind of okay. get in the door. But really, okay. it's, it's, um, you know, it's our, we have a great BD team as well who's constantly out there, you know, hitting the streets, talking to everyone. We want to talk to everyone in RWAs out there, right? Yes. And make sure we get them on. And then I think the last thing is making sure that, you know, ultimately what gets people in is you have, um, you know, success stories that you can okay. share that bring other people in. So, for example, okay. the protocols that have been deploying on Plume on the testnet, we've been able to have great early stats of them, right? So, a couple of these folks, you know, within a week or two get 100,000 new followers on Twitter, they get 300,000 users, 100,000 daily, daily users on this thing. A million transactions in a week, right? More volume than seen anywhere else, right? So, yeah. like by doing that for a few of our protocols, they we can showcase that and share people because that's what that's what that's the whole point of being a chain. But also, we're excited to, to show people this, and that brings more and more people in. So, all these things sort of compound and build on each other and allow us to keep okay. adding more and more to higher volume and higher velocity. Yeah, I, I, I feel you. Let's look a bit into the future. Let's say this is the second coming of RWAs. What do you think the third coming is going to be? I mean, you 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 seem like a clever guy. 
research Binance, previous uh, Coinbase, JP Morgan. What do you think the third phase is going to be? Totally. Right now, what we're doing, right, is mm -hmm. um, you're taking real things and putting them on chain. Mm. Right. At the end of the day, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Right. It's not it doesn't actually live on chain. Right. Ultimately, if I buy a house on chain, I still got to go like it, someone actually owns a paper somewhere. I got to go get it. Right. It's like it's not actually born on chain. In, in my opinion. So what you're doing is we started phase one was crypto native assets. Uh -huh. ETH, BTC, born on chain. These things are being real, real things and then putting them on chain and having sort of like a portal to put that on chain. Right. That's yeah. number two. The third thing is going to be, in my opinion, net new things. Right. Yeah. That. Um, that are born on chain that are uh but but still have an inherent tie to the real world right yeah. that to me is the next phase of this right where you yeah. want to put these things together and have new things that come together uh where you can do things you couldn't do before right yeah. that to me is going to be the exciting thing you have these synthetics that sort of live on chain that's the primary place they live that's not a duplicate of something in the real world right but it still is tied to the real world in a in, 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 in real way dude i love it that's awesome i'm gonna love you and leave you and to enjoy the little one um, if people want to go and find out about Plume and uh, connect with yourself, where can they do that? Uh, we're all over the place, but I would say go to our uh, website, plumenetwork.xyz. But of course, Twitter is where we're the most active. Yep. Plume Network, you know, ping me anytime. I'm Chris Ian, um, and uh, we're always around. I have to chat with And we'll put the links in the comments. To so, uh, your listeners, peace, love, and prosperity. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. There's a boy with a dream in a small town square Trading cards and sneakers, he's got a vision to share What's to tokenize the world from Pikachu to Air Max Turning every asset into digital tracks Catch him all, tokenize it right From sneakers to cards, bring them to light He's coding in the night, under the neon glow Nike on his feet, cards in a row No more middlemen, no more disguise Just pure value in everyone's eyes Tokenize, revolutionize the world's in his sight From Pokemon rares to sneakers so bright On the blockchain, he's making it right A young boy's dream, taking flight Just do it, make it real Tokenize the world, break that seal He sees value in things others overlook Old games, rare kicks, even that comic book With a click, with a code, he brings them to life Tokenized assets cutting through the strife Gotta catch him, gotta own them all From the big city to the school hall He's up late at night coding the new wave Turning childhood icons into tokens we crave Pikachu, Air Jordan and that pop culture beat In the digital world where they all meet Tokenize, revolutionize the world's in his sight From Pokemon rares to sneakers so bright On the blockchain he's making it right A young boy's dream taking flight just do it, make it real Tokenize the world, break that seal From the town where he started to the world at large With Nike on his feet, he's leading the charge Tokenized dreams, now they're all around A future he built from the ground Tokenize, revolutionize the world's in his sight From Pokemon rares to sneakers so bright On the blockchain, he's making it right A young boy's dream, taking flight just do it, make it real Tokenize the world, break that seal And the see motherfuckers with our discounts Cause he synchronized dreams, now they're all around A future he built from the ground And the see motherfuckers with our discounts Cause he synchronized dreams, now they're all around A future he built from the ground A future he built from the ground Yes, fix it fast, green of the fuckers you did it right, speed, but not the same For I just wanted to see hands for Ian Rhetoric And who's this kid with a weird friend go far And I'm leaving the other side, you all the bad girl wax That's right, face for a fix it, rapperate, man You're not gonna say it So it's worth a lot of the game, but Cause I'm really like you all paying for a bad dick So y'all be your heart, dad It's like you ain't sound like there is a real man So you was bad and you can't stop it It's our dreams What's that, you're raging and ran It's that breeze